Well, the long, hot summer is over, finally. To me, one of my favorite things is watching the rookies. Which of those guys will make an immediate impact? Which guy gets the most time? And then, you know, some second rounders always seem to surprise us. The diamonds in the rough that are perhaps a little more prepared than we thought. And the starting group for the Celtics. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Drew Holiday out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Porzingis in at center. Now, here's Green. Wiggins looking around. And here's Curry for three. Drains the triple. It is indisputable, not debatable. It's over. Stephen Curry is the greatest shooter who's ever lived. Pass to Horford. Over Green. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Now, there's your rim protection. That's how you defend the post. Boy, he really anchors well on the block. Very difficult to back down. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings, plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. And here are the Warriors now. After the basket by Boston. Curry passes to Green. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Well, the gravity of Stephen Curry allows for him to find open teammates. And boy, does he relish the chance. Out to the right wing. Launches it. And it's Horford with the three. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Looney. Curry passes to Green. Pass to Wiggins. Uses the glass to finish the layup. A good score inside for a three-man. I mean, Wiggins can beat you with his back to the basket or facing up. Curry against Holiday. Porzingis with a screen on Wiggins. Here's Tatum. And it's Boston scoring again. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. Curry against Holiday. Curry passes to Green. Out to Thompson from downtown. And the Warriors. With another three. Well, the ability to rise and fire off the catches to find Clay Thompson. Curry against Holiday. Outside Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Wiggins. Tatum from long range. And again, Boston with the triple. In such a rhythm right now. Feathery touch. He's lighting them up. Curry against Holiday. And here's Thompson for three. Knocks down the long J. Thompson's got six. Clay Thompson is not about to let a three go unanswered. Big time shot. Tatum feeling it out a bit from deep. The Warriors pull it in. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. B.A., he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. Clock is at three. He shoots it. And it's green missing. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Curry. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first. Thompson, no good. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Outside Tatum, puts up a deep three. Boston, no good that time either. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. That's what you call playing big. 
he just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Tatum gets the bucket. 11 points in the game. Well, size and skill. Tatum on the interior. Yes, sir. And that concludes a back and forth high scoring. In today's NBA, the three point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A., to have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other. That's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Kaminga is out there with Gary Payton the second, and it's Sharich in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. A nice shot by Tatum. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. Paul looking over the floor. Shoots from 12, and the bucket is good. Paul's gotten four this quarter. You know, they worked the ball into ideal position there to get the high-quality look. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Tatum inside, guarded by Peyton. Tatum passes to White. The kick to Tatum. Warriors with the rebound. Inside, here's Sharich. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Sharich has got his first basket. This guy is an efficient scorer. Dario Sharich knows his strengths on the offensive end and can capitalize. Tatum drills the three. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard and look at last season's top scoring squads. The Warriors, second, fourth, the Celtics. This is going to be a shooting contest as much as it is anything else. We know both of these teams are capable of racking up some huge point totals. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Clay Thompson is able to go on scoring stretches like few players in NBA history. He said, quote, once you see it go straight through the net, that's when you're in the zone. At the beginning of the game, you hold your follow through. Once you feel like you can't miss, you shoot real quick, and that's a great feeling. You feel on top of the world. B.A.? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Tatum. He's got 18. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Sharich. Pass to Peyton. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And the shot goes. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture at an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. Now here's Paul. Timeout called the Warriors. And with a single punch in last season's training camp, it seems the Warriors' culture of joy and togetherness really... Holiday against Curry. Takes the three. 4-3, Stephen Curry. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Here's Brown. Thompson with some nice D. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. He drops it from range. Come on, that's almost unfair. This guy steps across the half-court line, and you've got to guard him from that spot. Porzingis with a screen on Thompson. Here's Brown. Warriors with the rebound. And Grant Brown signing a huge super max with the Celtics over the summer. Oh my, B.A. Over 300 million for five years. The Celtics made as big a financial commitment you can make to Brown. 
That's a lot to live up to, but he has a lot of talent. And it's Green missing. And so it's Porzingis with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. Six-point game. Outside Holiday. Back to Tatum. 43 seconds left in the second. The wide-open shot is on the money. Tatum's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, you love the way Tatum will take the mid-range if it opens up to him. Curry passes to Thompson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got four assists in the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Now here's Brown. Still no points. Porzingis for three. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, the unicorn, Mr. Porzingis, the answer from three, his specialty. And here's Curry. Give him eight. Green with a screen on Holiday. And here's Curry for three. Another three for Golden State. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And so it's the Golden State Warriors closing out this job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. On the floor for Boston, the star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. And it's Holiday in at the one. Two shots. And he makes a first. And Grant, the news for the Celtics over the summer, moved on from Smart in order to acquire Porzingis. Yeah, the team wanted to get bigger, and Porzingis gives them that. Hard to lose a player like Smart, but the Celtics feel their guards can fill that void. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Holiday against Curry. Back to Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Just five to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. 10 of 14 from the field. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Oh, Curry, making it look effortless. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Second half rolling along, about a minute played here. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and ask what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. B.A.? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Three. Well, Jason Tatum with the answer from three. That's how you stop an opponent's momentum. Pass to Curry. For three, another three for Golden State. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Tatum against Wiggins. Outside Porzingis. And here's Holiday. And here's Brown for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. Wow, what a start. Three for three, terrific play calling, everything clicking out of the gates here. Now here's Curry. He's got 19. Wiggins passes to Green. Wiggins against Tatum. Shot clock at six. Green with a screen on Tatum. Wiggins from long range. Rebound Boston. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Porzingis up top. Pass to Holiday. 
Porzingis with a screen on Curry. Three-pointer, Holiday. And the Celtics, another three. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. Holiday against Curry. Wiggins passes to Curry. They double-team Curry. Back to Wiggins. And there's another one for the Warriors. No being assertive. Wiggins right now calling his own number off the pick-and-roll action. It's Brown on the wing, guarded by Peyton. Elbow shot on the way. A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got five. Since the break, it feels like an entirely new game. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. Now here's Kaminga. No made baskets yet. To the inside. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Well, get off your feet and send it home, Clay Thompson. Cornette sets a screen. Brown passes to Cornette. Outside Holiday. The rebound by Clay Thompson. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Clay busting it up inside. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Here's Hauser. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Hauser's got his first three points of the game. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Thompson outside. Fires from deep. Oh, and Clay makes that three look so easy. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. One second left. Stephen Curry getting it done for Golden State. Doing some damage from deep. He now has five three-pointers in the game quarter. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Gary Payton the second is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Gay in at the five. That's the Warriors five. Here's Tatum. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Boston trailing. Pass to White. Peyton against Tatum. Here's Hauser. Cornette passes to Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. From 13, again, the Celtics. Good for two more. Boy, it's so clear that Jason Tatum is comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. Here's Paul. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. And the Warriors lead by six. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Tatum against Payton. Pass to Pritchard. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. White for three. The Warriors pull it in. They've led by as much as ten. Fires the three. And Curry is good for three. And it's a nine-point Warrior lead. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. And Boston time calls out, time, time here. Of course, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward.
And the Warriors will go with a different look here. Looney's checked in for Gay. Green comes in for Kaminga. And Drew Wiggins checked in for Peyton. And it's Clay Thompson in for Chris Paul. A big group substitution here for Boston. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Cornette. Al Horford comes in for Hauser. Brown, he's checked in for White. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Pritchard. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzulla's huddle. First and foremost, he wants to see more points in the break. He asked his team, where's the urgency? We know what we can do in transition. Now let's go out and do it. We'll see if they can pick up the tempo, guys. And Allie, thank you for that. Well, Steph Curry, one of the most dynamic ball handlers in the game. He has more moves than you can count. Tatum against Wiggins. Porzingis with a screen on Wiggins. They double-team Tatum. Over to the left wing. The open shot. Horford. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists tonight. Curry against Holiday. Curry passes to Looney. Thompson draws the double. Holiday against Looney. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Wiggins. Called in by Brown. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for Boston. Trailing by eight. And it's Tatum missing. The Warriors have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. From deep three-point land. Curry's shot is off. The Celtics have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Porzingis with a screen on Wiggins. Tatum, good. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Curry. Launches it from deep. The rebound, Celtics. Porzingis has got four rebounds now. Tatum against Wiggins. Tatum passes to Holiday. Outside Tatum. Count the basket. Now just a four-point Warrior lead. The very definition of their go-to player. Mr. Tatum, ball in your hands. Yes, sir. Curry against Holiday. Curry passes to Green. Thompson outside. And that comes off the assist by Green. And the Warriors lead by seven. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. And Boston calls time here. They trail by seven. There's 45 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Horford finds Brown. Oh, he nails it! And now they trail by just four. Well, if you're going to be a franchise guy, you've got to want the ball in these clutch moments. Jalen Brown doing work. A basket here would give them some breathing room. Slow down. No need to hurry. Take the best shot available. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He hits the first one. And that puts him up five. Boy, when you think about Stephen Curry, his style, his shooting, all the abilities have influenced the way we think about the game of basketball. Incredible. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. Pass to Brown. The three is up. 
count it. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. A dangerous shooter from all areas. Brown's eyes get real big when he shoots these corner threes. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. A guy who hits over 90% from the line for his career. Curry trying to put his team over the hump here. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. He's able to make it a two-possession game with some solid work at the line right there. And Boston calls time here. They trail by five. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth. Three seconds left in the game. Here's Tatum. It falls! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three. Unshakable trust in Jason Tatum in this sort of situation. Their staff just puts the ball in his hands and lets him make plays. First one, and that gives him a four point cushion. And so both free throws good, and it's a five point game. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Horford, lets it go from deep, and knocks down the three. If you want to know why they turned to Al Horford, it's because he delivers time and again. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. At the line for the dogs, Clay Thompson. Two shots. Good on the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. This is not someone you want to send to the line. Thompson loves coming through there in the clutch. And so he drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Cash! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one! That's Tatum's size and high release point. He's able to get that three-point shot off against virtually anybody. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're up by one. Three seconds left in the fourth. throw is good and that'll put him up too his contemporaries will say this Clay Thompson's shooting stroke is as pure as it gets so he goes two for two at the line and it's a three-point game that last free throw was a huge huge shot the difference between a two and a three-point lead at this stage is major and so the big win by Golden State in a 
tight game. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what, these are the ones that are...